Assalamu alaikum. Mr. Moderator, our distinguished guests, brothers and sisters, our friends and, and our enemies. And because he is saying you have put me in error, I will surely sit and wait for them on your straight path. Now, family, the command from Allah was for Adam to what? Bow down. All you have to do is bow down to Adam. All of the angels bow down to Adam except for Iblis, correct? It was his arrogance that fused his back straight to befriend him for the bow down, and then he blames Allah for it. <laughs> okay? <laughs> right? But don't stop there. He says, then I will come before them and from behind them and from the left of them, from the right of them, and you will find most of them ungrateful to you. Now, when you look at the white supremacists, do they not have this innate belief that they are superior to black folk? Yes or no? One's in the chat, please. But not only do they have this innate belief, but they try to justify it. Do they not? The white supremacists? They write entire books about it. We put out some of the books that they put up about it as well. Literature about it. They make entire sciences about it, like anthropology, criminology. Do they not do this? Evolution. Is this not their way? But don't stop there. Do not these same folks claim the white man's burden in order to justify their unending oppression against black people, just like Iblis. They come from before us. They come from behind us. They come from the left of us. They come from the right of us. They just don't leave us alone. How is it that Muslims in 2024 can't leave us alone? We ain't talking about them. <laughs> Where are these black Muslims in the way of these foreigners and stuff that they make it a point to constantly and aggressively be in our business. So they are of, like the Bible says, you are of your father, the devil. He was a liar and a murderer from the beginning. He is a liar and the father of lies. That's these folks. Well, family, <clears throat> what is going on right now, it hasn't been more brazen. It hasn't been more in your face. The only thing really left for your YouTubian that he leads to do is just say, openly say N-word, which Sneeko, by the way, has tried to actually justify. We should be allowed to say uh, the N-word in Islam. He actually said this, and it's only a matter of time because these folks are chucking and jiving, twitching and twirling and twerking so hard for a Sneeko that they will actually allow this. Mark my words, you heard it here first. You will see your YouTube and they say talking about, oh, there's nothing wrong with saying the N-word. That's coming. Just like I told you about Just Pearly Things, just like I told you about these guys reviving the careers of uh, dilapidated white supremacists, this is coming too. And these folks have millions altogether combined of, of followers. And the black imams are absolutely invisible. They are totally invisible because of this disease that black folk have of not actually dealing with their issues. How is it that if you want to hear about this stuff, you got to come on the features to hear about it? <laughs> Why ain't anybody else talking about this? Why I gotta be doing that? I don't even want to talk about these folks. I don't want to talk about these 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 folks. I don't consider no white supremacists. I don't care if he if he got a beard dragging on the floor and, and and a turban up up into the first heaven. If he's a white supremacist, he's not my brother. He is not my brother, and I will go to Allah saying that. Do you hear these folks quoting ayat and hadith to justify their positions? No. I'm just in mind finding my position from the Quran itself. You ain't gonna confuse us. You carry the exact rhetoric of Iblis himself. We will meet on uh, Yom Kiyama, you and I and every single, all, all of you hundreds and thousands of whatever white supremacist Muslims. I ask Allah to strengthen us in our resolve to remain upon the truth, Amin. Especially in these times, Amin. May Allah make us strong and firm and never allow the enemy to get a hand or a foot or any angle over us. I mean, you're not gonna put the wool of our, over our eyes or over some salam alaikum, let's be brothers and let this ride and let's slide and all the kind of stuff. That ain't happening. And more black imams need to take that position. And they should not be shy about it. Because if it wasn't for the black imam, there would be no Pakistani imam, there would be no Indian imam, there would be no Arab imam in the West. They out here thanking the very colonizer that destroyed their lands. And it's not even figurative anymore, it's literal. 
What you talking about, Bilal? <laughs> what you talking about? You talking crazy again, Bilal. Yeah, yeah, I know. I know. But you know me, I always come with receipts. I'm always, I always come with receipts. The black imam right now, it is in a very precarious position because as I said many times, I don't believe that the black Muslims in the West were not infiltrated. I believe they were intentionally infiltrated. Their institutions intentionally, uh, you know, what's that word? Paper gold. You see, black folks are chumps. If America were to tell you to bring all the rocks in this country to her and she'll give you a million dollars for it, you'll do it. And the next day she'll tell you we're using rocks for currencies, chump.